We are so excited that Lyle will be presenting for the Resilience Project um, and we're calling the sessions Connected Parenting, is yes, that right? Yes, that's right. Uh, I should know that. <laughs> Uh, connected Parenting. Uh, we are so lucky to work with so many schools across Australia and New Zealand. Yeah, I'm just so um, happy that you'll be doing those presentations for us. Can you tell us a bit mm. more about Connected Parenting? Yeah, for sure. So Connected Parenting really is about prioritising connection with our kids, no matter what's going on. So whether they're angry, sad, uh, frustrated, happy, joyous, whatever's happening, it's about prioritising that safe emotional container for kids so that they know they can come to you with whatever's going on. So when life is tricky, which it is for children, they're learning lots, there's always challenges, we want children to know that you are a safe place to come to. And sometimes kids don't necessarily feel that because sometimes they might come to us with their worries or their fears. And as parents, because it can feel really uncomfortable when our kids are not happy, we jump in to try and fix it. We, um, we try and make it better instead of actually just listening and being there to create that safety for kids so that they can process and learn tools and strategies to get through things that are tricky. Yeah, I, I mean, for me, I'm interested to have, for how this links to resilience. I mean, what you just said there about like how we want to fix everything for our kids, I think one of the big issues these days is as parents, of which I'm one and so I'm very guilty of this, is that we are so keen to fight our kids' battles for them, yeah. which is just causing bigger problems in the yes, long run. Yes. Um, is that how you see this stuff all linked to yeah, resilience? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think the thing is, is that for children, you know, life is going to be hard. Like life is hard for all humans and that's how we grow and how we learn. And I think what helps children navigate really tricky things is that when they know there is a safe adult carer there who's not going to judge them, who's not going to try and fix and who has the ability to just listen and what I call hold a space for them, then when they're able to offload their feelings, their worries, their angst, then it gives more space for them to step into possibility to go, well, what can I do to move forward or how can I do this differently? So we know that with, with children, when they hold on to a lot of their stuff and they don't share it, they'll often repress it. So they you know they hide it inside or it can come out in other ways that can be a little bit destructive mm. so when we're looking at building resilience in kids what we want them to know is that hey we are a really safe place to come and no matter what happens we've got you back we're here you know we're here to help you navigate these really really tricky times I've just got all these questions about my own kids now <laughs> <laughs> um, we could do, we could do we, a session, therapy we'll, do a session, session. Right <laughs> we'll do a third session we'll do a third session later on <laughs> oh dear